didn't talk about how caffeine causes a chemical imbalance in the brain. And what's depression? A chemical imbalance in the brain. Don't talk about any of that. So it's important to know what the deceptions are. Ever feel like you are dragging yourself through the day, desperately needing that extra boost, but tired of relying on coffee or energy drinks? You are not alone. So many of us have been conditioned to think caffeine is the only answer when our energy levels dip. But guess what? There are amazing natural ways to boost your energy without a single drop of caffeine. And who better to guide us through this than Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a wellness expert who is all about natural health solutions. Dr. O'Neill's approach is refreshing because it doesn't involve quick fixes or band-aid solutions. Instead, she digs into the root causes of low energy and offers simple, natural remedies that can make a huge difference in how you feel every day. Let's dive into what she recommends. First up, let's talk about hydration. I hated traveling in the car. I'd always get headaches. I got colds often and I get terrible sinus. And then I started to study the body. And then I started to study how much water we have. And then I started to look at what happens when you don't have the water. So I began to drink more water. You know, I never get a headache now. It sounds almost too simple, right? But the truth is, many of us are walking around in a state of mild dehydration, and that can absolutely zap our energy. When your body doesn't have enough water, your cells struggle to function properly. Dr. O'Neill explains that water is like the fuel that keeps our internal engines running smoothly. It helps transport nutrients to your cells, flush out toxins, and keep everything in balance. She often says, your body is about 70% water, so it is pretty clear how important it is to keep that water level up. Think of it this way. When your car is low on gas, it doesn't run as well, right? It is the same with your body. Without enough water, you might find yourself sluggish and less energetic. Plus, dehydration can make your skin look dull and dry, which is not exactly great for your overall vibe. Nobody wants to feel tired and look tired, right? So instead of grabbing another cup of coffee when you are feeling down, try reaching for a glass of water first. It is like giving your body a little internal shower. It wakes you up from the inside out. Here is a tip from Dr. O'Neill. Don't just take a sip here and there. It's best to drink water consistently throughout the day. By the time you are feeling thirsty, you're already a bit dehydrated. The goal is to keep your hydration levels steady, so make it a habit to drink water regularly, even if you are not feeling particularly thirsty. And here is where it gets even more interesting. Dr. O'Neill suggests a simple trick to enhance hydration. Place a crystal of Celtic sea salt on your tongue before drinking water. Now you might be thinking, salt, really? But hear me out. The minerals in Celtic sea salt, especially magnesium, are absorbed through the mucous membranes in your mouth, which helps to pull water into your cells more effectively. It is like giving your hydration a little extra boost, ensuring that the water you drink is really getting to where it needs to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a not negotiable thing. You just got to find out how to get it in. Have the water in the car, have the water by your bed, have the water in the kitchen, have the water in your workplace. Carrying a water bottle with you can make this habit much easier. Keep it within arm's reach and make it a routine to refill it a few times a day. That way, you're always sipping and staying hydrated. Plus, if you are feeling fancy, you can add a slice of lemon or cucumber to your water for a refreshing twist. This small change can make a big difference in how energetic and alert you feel. Another is keeping the body moving. So exercise will give you more oxygen, which gives you more energy. You might have heard the old saying, you will receive more energy than you expend on your morning exercise. So implement an exercise program, you might find that will make a difference. Now let's get into something a bit more dynamic, moving your body. But we are not talking about hitting the gym for an hour long workout. Dr. O'Neill is all about the power of movement throughout the day. Short bursts of activity that keep your blood flowing and your muscles engaged. It is about finding little ways to be active rather than committing to intense sessions at the gym. One of Dr. O'Neill's favorite methods is rebounding, which is basically bouncing on a mini trampoline. This might sound like something only kids do, but it is incredibly effective for your lymphatic system. Every gate opens, and when you hit the mat again, every gate closes. Isn't that incredible? You only have to rebound for one minute in the morning to get that lymphatic system. The lymphatic system acts like your body's drainage system, helping to clear out toxins and waste. Unlike your heart, it does not have a pump, so it relies on movement to get things flowing. Even just a few minutes of rebounding can stimulate your lymphatic flow 
and give you a nice energy boost. Plus, it is a fun and playful way to get moving. If you don't have a rebounder, don't worry. There are plenty of other ways to keep your body active. For example, a quick walk around the block or a few minutes of stretching can also work wonders. Dr. O'Neill suggests setting a timer to remind yourself to get up and move every hour. It can be as simple as doing a few jumping jacks, stretching your arms and legs, or even dancing around your living room. The goal is to keep your blood circulating and your muscles engaged. Dr. O'Neill also loves incorporating movement into daily routines. For instance, while watching TV, try doing some light exercises during commercial breaks or stand up and stretch every now and then if you are working at a desk all day. These small bursts of activity can add up over time and make a big difference in how you feel. Another tip from Dr. O'Neill is to not underestimate the power of a good stretch. Stretching keeps your muscles flexible, strong, and healthy, which is especially important if you spend a lot of time sitting. Try reaching for your toes, stretching your arms above your head, or doing some gentle twists to keep your spine flexible. The idea is not to achieve perfect form or perform intense workouts, but to integrate movement into your daily life consistently. Ultimately, it is about finding what works for you and what you enjoy. Whether it is rebounding, walking, stretching, or dancing, the best exercise is the one you look forward to and can stick with. So make movement a natural part of your day and you will find that staying active becomes an enjoyable and rewarding part of your routine. In fact, when you breathe through your nose, you'll get 18% more oxygen going into your blood. And when you've got oxygen coming into your cell, you've got 18 times more energy that that cell can give you. There's number one cause of chronic fatigue syndrome is lack of oxygen at the cellular level. That's the number one cause. Let's talk about another cool trick Dr. O'Neill swears by breathing techniques. Sounds a bit basic, right? But here is the thing, most of us breathe all day without really thinking about it or doing it properly. We often take shallow breaths, which means we are not getting enough oxygen. This can leave us feeling tired and foggy. Dr. O'Neill recommends a technique called breath pacing. It is pretty simple. You sync your breathing with physical activities, like walking or stretching. The idea is to inhale deeply through your nose, filling up your lungs completely, and then exhale fully, letting go of any tension you might be holding onto. This kind of deep breathing helps get more oxygen into your blood, which gives your whole body a little energy boost. It is like hitting the reset button for your system. She often says, think of your breath as your life force. When you breathe deeply, you are nourishing every cell in your body. Deep breathing can really help reduce stress, boost your energy, and improve how you are feeling overall. Because nose purifies the air, it warms the air, it humidifies the air, pressurizes the air so it's perfect for the lungs. Dr. O'Neill is big on nose breathing over mouth breathing. Why? Because your nose is designed to breathe. It filters, warms, and humidifies the air, making it the best way to get oxygen into your system. Breathing through your mouth, especially if it is shallow, can be less efficient and even dry out your mouth and throat. So here is a simple way to get started. Find a comfy spot to sit or stand. Breathe in deeply through your nose Counting to four as you go, feel your lungs expand and your belly rise. Hold your breath for a count of four and then slowly exhale through your mouth, letting all the air out. Repeat this a few times and see how you feel. It is a small change that can make a big difference in how energized and clear-headed you feel. Dr. O'Neill also dives into the impact of stress on your energy levels. Stress can drain your energy faster than anything else. When you are stressed, your body is in a constant state of alert which is incredibly exhausting. To combat this, she recommends some great stress reduction techniques, like prayer and relaxation exercises. One of Dr. O'Neill's go-to methods is prayer. She is a big believer in the power of taking a few moments each day to pray, and it does not need to be anything elaborate or time-consuming. Just a few minutes of quiet reflection can work wonders for calming your mind and bringing a sense of peace. Anything action, anxious, happens that stimulates you to feel anxious, you do five seconds of breath in through the nose and hold it for three and five seconds out. Do that 10 times and that will stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system. Here is how you can give it a try. 
Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and focus on something positive. You might say a prayer, think about what you are grateful for, or simply sit in silence. The goal is to let go of any worries or negative thoughts and let yourself unwind. It is like hitting the reset button for your brain. Dr. O'Neill also loves using essential oils for relaxation. Scents like lavender, chamomile, and eucalyptus are known for calming effects. You can add a few drops to a diffuser to fill your room with a soothing aroma, take a relaxing bath with essential oils, or even just inhale them directly from the bottle. It is a simple and pleasant way to help your mind and body unwind and feel more relaxed. Let's dive into nutrition and how it impacts your energy levels, specifically what you are putting into your body to keep it running smoothly. So what should we be eating? We should be eating a diet that's high in fiber. So all plant foods have fiber. So that meal we had tonight, everything had fiber. So your plant-based diet's fiber, generous amounts of protein. Dr. Barbara O'Neill is all about eating foods that are packed with nutrients to give you steady, long-lasting energy throughout the day. You know those foods that give you a quick boost, but then leave you crashing soon after? We want to steer clear of those. Dr. O'Neill suggests focusing on whole foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. These nutrient-dense options provide a steady release of energy, so you are not constantly riding the roller coaster of energy highs and lows. For example, snacking on a handful of almonds or munching on a crunchy apple can be both tasty and packed with nutrients to keep you going strong. Here is a cool tip from Dr. O'Neill. It is not just about what you eat, but also how often you eat. She recommends eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day. This keeps your blood sugar levels stable and avoids those dreaded mid-afternoon slumps when you might be tempted to grab a coffee or a sugary snack. So instead of having three large meals, try spreading your meals out a bit more. Them is caffeine because of the way it leaches the magnesium out of the body. And as you can see by what I just described, magnesium is so important. Anyone that comes to me with high blood pressure, well, we do quite a few changes, but we always supplement with magnesium. Speaking of nutrition, Dr. O'Neill also points out the importance of magnesium. This mineral is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body, many of which are directly related to energy production. Unfortunately, many of us don't get enough magnesium in our diets, which can leave us feeling tired and drained. Foods like leafy greens, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are great sources of magnesium, but you might also consider a supplement if you are not getting enough from your diet. Magnesium relaxes your muscles and nervous system, which can also improve your sleep, another key factor in maintaining energy levels. Dr. O'Neill also has some great tips for those of us who rely on caffeine to get through the day. If you are thinking of reaching for another cup of coffee, she suggests trying herbal energy tonics as a natural alternative. Have you ever heard of adaptogens? They are a special group of herbs that help your body handle stress and keep your energy levels steady. Two of Dr. O'Neill's top picks are rhodiola and ginseng. These herbs are like little powerhouses for your body. Rhodiola is fantastic because it can boost both your physical endurance and mental performance. So, if you are feeling sluggish or need a mental pick-me-up, rhodiola might be just what you need. But try to take rhodiola in the morning or early afternoon. This way, you can enhance your energy levels throughout the day without interfering with your sleep at night. It is all about timing and making sure your body gets the boost it needs at the right time. Ginseng is another superstar in the world of adaptogens. It is known for enhancing overall vitality and giving you a nice, steady energy lift without the crash that often follows caffeine. Imagine feeling more awake and alert, but in a natural and balanced way. Ginseng can help you achieve that. Incorporating these adaptogens into your daily routine is super simple. You can find them in teas, capsules, or even as tinctures that you can mix into your water or smoothie. It is an easy swap that can keep your energy levels balanced throughout the day without the ups and downs that come with caffeine. Give it a try and see how these natural alternatives work for you. Sometimes not sleeping enough at night. We should be sleeping eight hours a night and ideally that starts at 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night. In the summertime, it could be stretched to 10, to 10 o'clock at night. So lack of proper sleep can also cause the, cause the fatigue. Lastly, let's chat about something super important, rest. Now, this might seem a bit counterintuitive when we are talking about boosting energy, 
But Dr. O'Neill really emphasizes that quality sleep is absolutely essential for keeping your energy up throughout the day. Think about it. When you don't get enough rest, your body does not have the chance to repair and recharge itself, leaving you running on empty. Dr. O'Neill has some fantastic tips for improving your sleep quality. One of her main suggestions is to establish a relaxing bedtime routine. This helps signal your body that it is time to wind down and prepare for sleep. For starters, she recommends turning off screens an hour before bed. That means putting away your phone, laptop, and TV. The blue light from these screens can interfere with your sleep hormones and make it harder for you to fall asleep. And avoid heavy meals right before bedtime. Eating large or rich meals late in the evening can disrupt your sleep and leave you feeling uncomfortable. Instead, try to finish eating at least a few hours before you go to bed. This gives your body time to digest your food and prevents any potential discomfort or indigestion that might keep you awake. Another great tip is to incorporate some gentle stretching into your pre-bedtime routine. Stretching relaxes your muscles and releases any tension accumulated during the day. It is a simple way to prepare your body for rest and ease into a more restful state. You might also consider sipping a cup of herbal tea before bed. Chamomile tea in particular is well known for its calming effects and can help soothe your mind and body as you prepare for sleep. So sunshine in the day helps to reset the circadian rhythm. Use of water. Our pineal gland leads a full hydration to be able to produce and release those hormones at night. Sleep. We should, to get those hormones, we have to be in bed by nine winter, 10 summer. Dr. O'Neill also emphasizes the importance of getting some natural sunlight and staying hydrated for good sleep. It might sound surprising, but exposure to natural light regulates your body's internal clock, making it easier to fall asleep at night. So try to spend some time outside, especially in the morning. Even a short walk or some time in the sun can make a big difference in how well you sleep. Prioritizing sleep is one of the most powerful things you can do for your energy levels. And the best part? It does not cost a thing. Just a few simple changes to your evening routine can make a huge difference in how rested and energetic you feel the next day. So don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. It is one of the easiest and most effective ways to boost your energy and feel great every day. So there you have it. Seven natural strategies from Dr. Barbara O'Neill to boost your energy without caffeine. Now it is your turn. Try incorporating one or two of these tips into your daily routine and see how they work for you. Maybe start with a glass of water instead of coffee tomorrow morning, or give rebounding a shot for a quick energy lift. I would love to hear how these tips work out for you. Drop a comment below and let me know which strategy you are excited to try first. Or, if you have got your own energy-boosting secrets, share them with us. Let's keep the energy flowing!